Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be starting on this John boat and the first thing we need to do is we need to build a good subfloor, solid foundation for us to build our back deck off of. And so um, our back deck is going to be split, our back uh, subfloor is going to be split into two sections. We're going to have a section from this rib to this rib and a section from the front of this rib up to here. So we want the front of our deck to come down and meet right here. So if we have a two section subfloor, we're gonna need something to support it. So I got this like two and a half by an uh, inch and a half right angle, and I cut it to fit in the ribs. I drilled, I pre-drilled some holes because uh, I'm gonna have to be drilling this way and I won't be able to see them. But uh, this was originally 90 degrees, and when we put it up there, it actually kind of sat up like this, which is not good, obviously, right? You want a flat surface. So we, uh, we took it to uh, our eight inch current vise over there. And what we did is we, we squeezed it like this. And we just worked our way down. Luckily that vise is really big, so it only took like about four times to squeeze it. And we got it down to about 98 degrees, which this when we read it was about 80. So we're about two degrees off, but I think it'll work out in the wash. I don't, I don't think I can get two degrees with that, like, I just don't think it'll be possible. So I think it'll work. It's also slightly tapered as well. So I think when I put the screws in, it's gonna lean more forward anyways. And yeah, and you can also see that it's not straight. So, well, that helps. So, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this screwed in. We're going to use uh, self-tapping stainless steel hex heads with the, uh, these are the ones with the washer. I don't know what they're called. So we're gonna use those. And yeah, so stay tuned. All right, so we got the 90 degree installed or the 80 degree, very sturdy. It's got about, I don't know, eight or 10 uh, self-tapping screws in there. And I mean, it's solid. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut some of that pink foam that's over there. And we're gonna start laying it in. I think it's really important. Uh, there's a lot of guys on YouTube uh, that do this all the time anthony jones tiny boat nation that that are probably better if you're doing this to watch but i think that this has to be very tight your your sub your insulation i think needs to be tight in here so that you have as much support because that two inch sits pretty much right up here so that's what we're going to do we're going to cut these really really tight we're going to try to get as close to the edge as we can cutting in the foam here and i'll just walk you through the process what we're doing is we're measuring each each one individually because they're all different sizes we're coming over to our sheet and big dog q is cutting them um, to size on on the width and the length and then what i'm doing is is i'm taking them over here to the chop saw and i'm putting an angle on both sides all right 30 degree there 30 degree on this side then I'm taking it over to the table saw and I'm putting a 10 degree bevel on both sides so that you kind of get this going on and then I'm going to put a 45 or yeah 45 45 45 45 and that'll let it kind of drop in and it'll I think it'll look really really good what do you think let's hear Michael's fun fact of the day fun fact of the day okay I didn't know this. Here, I'll make, I'll, I gotta record you for this. Yeah. Michael's fun fact of the day. A lot, a lot of you will know this. He was pretty dumb. I don't know anything about saws. So there are two types of manual saws. I don't know what these are called, right? 
there are Western saws and there are Japanese saws. So a Western saw has the teeth pointed forward, okay? So when you're cutting, when you're cutting with a Western saw, and a Western saw pretty much looks like this, you're cutting on the push stroke, okay? And when you're pulling back, you're not pressing down. You're letting it slide back, and what it does actually is as you're pulling it back, it's cleaning the teeth as well. Now, if you got a Japanese saw, which is usually more square, and it has a handle that you hold like this, you cut on the pool, and the, are they're called pool saws. Um, a lot of woodworking people love Japanese saws. I can't afford them, I just, so I just use my dad's old rusty. Make a funny noise. Western saw. So, yep, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so that's fun, fun tip of the day. I usually just cut both ways. Yeah, because you're a man. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get back to this stuff kicking around. All righty, guys. So we just finished up uh, putting our sub sub flooring in, our insulation, and uh, I think it turned out really nice. Uh, we had to leave a gap here on this one so we could actually slide it up underneath, but it's still very sturdy. Every piece fits in there very nice. And then what we did here is since this board is going to just be kind of hanging here, we are going to attach this 2x4 to the bottom of the wood, I think. Or we might have to like set it in there and then attach it. Um, and yeah, and that's just to support those. So if anybody was to happen to step here, that it won't bend or break. So we've got that done. Uh, I think what, since we're on a roll cutting this pink stuff, We'll go ahead and we will finish the front and get all the insulation cut and get all this nastiness out of the way. I would recommend wearing a mask. We are not because we're men and men don't care about their bodies and if they die young. So I would wear a mask and uh, we're going to have to see about this here. So if you look, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, it's actually sloped. And it sloped pretty bad. So what we might have to do is kind of do the same thing where like this stuff is so so flimsy, like it, it can bend. But we're gonna be using half inch plywood that's epoxy, so it's not gonna have any give. So we might have to do kind of the same thing where we did there where we have a piece of epoxy wood up here, or we can use some of that angle because we have a nice face to attach to. Alrighty guys, so we just finished doing the, or insulating the subfloor and it turned out really nice. We went from this situation here to nice cut, straight, tight fitting insulation. And um, kind of working our way back, we did also start replacing wire. Guys, I think it's imperative to use marine grade wire the other stuff's just not built to be in the sun. It's not built to get wet. So use marine grade. Um, we had to decide where the gas tank was going and where the batteries were going. So we didn't really have a choice. This does not fit over there. So we have the batter the gas tank's gonna go here and the batteries are gonna go over there. We're going to have to run new PVC pipe to get wires up to the trolling motor. Moving on forward, this is our aluminum piece I talked about earlier. It's screwed in the same height. The uh, insulation fits underneath it, and it turned out very nice. Up here, this 2x4 is just sitting on the ground, and just gives some support if someone was to step in this area to get up into this, this thing. They would have something solid to step on. And the same thing on the other side of this as well. This one's not epoxied yet. Or same thing. Moving on up, we put a uh, 90 degree here. It's actually like 87. And we had to skim this. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but we have to we had to skim it for it to fit underneath here. And also the boat is rising 
about right here. So from here to here, it's at an angle. So we're, we're just sanding this down and um, I needed a different kind of sander. I need like a block sander to kind of get better straight lines. But yeah, I think the subfloor has come together very nicely. I think me and you got a lot done today. Would you agree? Agreed. Yeah, we got a lot done. Two pounds, zero ounces, agree? Two pounds, zero ounces. Agree. Let's do it. So now, uh, tomorrow, we're going to focus on building our back deck and getting probably both the back and the front done and having them epoxied so that we can come in and carpet them because the floor has to be done for us to build on top of it and might as well just carpet every all of that while we're here. So like I said, we're going to have a deck from here to here and another deck from here to here and then one piece up there. Luckily, we have the old the old pieces and they fit fairly well. It's about the one thing whoever did this boat did a good job on. And um, with our 20 ounce carpet, it'll definitely clean up this area. And we'll be able to, especially like back here, um, we'll cut this and use it as a template for our new half inch epoxy plywood. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you learned something today, didn't learn anything, then you don't have to do those two things. You're smarter than me. Um, and be sure to check back next week and hopefully we will have this flooring done until next time guys.